Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unknowledge Breakfast with Kitty Loops. A few episodes ago, I asked you guys whether or not I should blob, and the general consensus is that I should blob and blob hard. That being said, though, blobbing is kind of my default, and I do it every campaign, so I might take a bit of a different approach to it. So instead of taking everything in sight, what I might do is take the Holy Roman Empire as well as maybe the Byzantine Empire. But the other kingdoms, say for example Poland, Lithuania, France, Aquitaine, etc, etc. Um, we might take a catch and release approach to it. Similar to what we had with our Pining for the Fjords campaign. Where we blobbed hard initially. And then we eventually installed um, Nordic rulers into those um, places. And then granted them independence. I'm actually not entirely sure if I do want to grant independence. Instead, what I'll definitely do, for sure, is I'll install members of my dynasty into those uh, seats of power. Now, I generally try to avoid um, installing dynasty members into seats of power like the plague, because I find that they inevitably end up being really greedy, and then they think that they deserve more titles, etc., etc. They become very disloyal, and um, they get lots of malices towards me. Um, which is why I try not to give um, members of my dynasty land. But since this campaign is all about me doing stuff that I don't normally do, as well as kind of like being a learning experience where I make tons of mistakes, let's give it a try and see what happens. I'm kind of expecting our campaign to end in a giant fiery ball visible from space. But I guess we'll see. Alright, so I'm actually not quite sure how to take the Holy Roman Empire. I suppose we could try to fabricate claims on duchies and try to take them? Slowly, piecemeal? That would normally be what I would do, but seeing as I... Hmm... Might be a little tough. Might also take a very long time considering that we're both Catholic. Maybe instead I can try to... What if instead we swear fealty and then try to subvert the throne from within? I wonder if it's possible. Similar to what we did with um, the Kingdom of Hungary. Um, maybe we can try to perhaps plot to fabricate a claim. Though I think this would only work against someone who is my de jure liege. So, because the Kingdom of Hungary um, isn't a de jure part of the Empire of the, the Holy Roman Empire, I don't think I would get that plot, unless I'm mistaken. I think that's how it works. So, I would probably need to take the Kingdom of Bohemia and then set that as my primary um, title in order for me to be able to fabricate a claim on the um, Holy Roman Empire. So, I guess we could try to do that. Maybe, I don't know, fabricate a claim on this guy's titles somewhat and then try to take some land from him and then eventually take his kingdom and then fabricate a claim. Seems really involved, but um, I mean, I, I guess we got to start somewhere, right? Otherwise, uh, maybe we can try getting his daughters married to Zeister or something. I'm not sure if that would work either. Hmm, well, I mean, we'll try to figure something out, but uh, yeah, let's try to swear fealty to him and then try to subvert the throne from within. That's kind of the strategy that I'm going to go with, I think. Yeah, but in order for, to do, for us to do that, I need to be at peace, I think, right? Yeah, I need to be at peace, meaning that we need to finish our war with the Fatimid um, in our de jure claim for Negev. So let's do that now. Um, should be a fairly easy fight. He has about 11,000 troops to my 25,000. So I think we should be... Yeah, we should be fine. That and also the Holy Roman Empire is supporting us on this uh, war. As uh, they are our allies. And also the Fatimid are being attacked by the Rum up north. And the Rum have about 35,000 troops, which is pretty damn crazy. So, yeah, this... this War is going to be a cakewalk. The only difficulty we're probably going to have is... Um, I don't know if we can actually get into a tussle with him anytime soon. 
Because if you don't, then we're gonna need to wait three years for the war to um to get to 100%, unless he maybe gives up. Eh, we'll see. Also, Zeister needs an education focus. Let's go with... I mean, he's kind of intrigue focused. You know what? Let's lean into the intrigue focus. Sure, why not? Intrigue education, here we come. Also, in between episodes, I noticed that my Bishop Jacopo, the guy that we hired in order to be our wicked priest on the um, in the cardinal seats or whatever, this guy is no longer a wicked priest, meaning that the whole point of having him in my um, bishopric is completely moot. So let's see if we can find someone else to replace this git. Unbelievable, this guy. Mm. Actually, let me see how the nominate bishop thing works. Ask Pope Leo X to choose your selected courtier as the next bishop for one of your churches. This will cost you piety. Oh, so the person has to be a courtier. I see. Not a vassal. Oh, I see. I see. As the next bishop from one of your churches. Hmm. Does that mean he's going to be the heir? For a bishopric? I wonder. Um. Because normally. The bishoprics don't have heirs. Whenever the um, current ruler of the bishopric dies, they get succeeded by some random dude picked off the street, right? Maybe that's what they mean. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can find someone who is a wicked priest to come to our court. Uh, this guy is Anglo-Saxon. What about some Italian dude? I don't... I think we're fresh out of it, wicked Italians. All right, fine. Um, hmm. What about Eberhard? You know what? Let's go get Eberhard. His hairstyle is absolutely atrocious. Um, but he's young enough that he's probably not going to die immediately, unlike Oshir here, who's 67 years old. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and win our war against the Fatimid. Here we come. And can you please go ahead and... Who is this guy now? My friend apparently can't join in my war. Oh no. Whatever shall I do without your 58 troops? Oh. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well just surrender since we can't use your 58 troops. You syphilitic psycho bastard. Good grief, man. Alright, so let's have you guys move down to... Oh, wait. Okay, the supply limit here in Farama is 17.25. Um, whereas I have about 17.14. Alright, fine. How about instead of these guys going to Farama, let's have these guys going to Sinai. And then these guys can go into Farama once they're done sieging down the entirety of, of a lot. Sure. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, Eberhardt has come to our court. Fantastic. Let's... Um... I guess I want him to be my new court chaplain, right? Okay, so that means I'm going to give away the county of Beirut, considering that we don't need it anymore. What with the uh, dude that I installed there not even being a wicked priest. Subar, why don't you be the new count of Beirut? Fantastic. So now our chancellor is, or our court chaplain is buried underneath some other the dude. So let's go with Eberhard. And Eberhard, why don't you go ahead and improve religious relations with the Pope? And Pope, can we please nominate Eberhard? It's a maybe. Is it because he doesn't like me that well? All right. Well, no rush. Let's see if we can improve relations with the Pope first, and then we'll try to get him to. Uh, Nominate a new bishop. Work has become boring and the hours of the day drag on. What the hell? I'm no longer diligent. Oh, come on, man. Hey, how do I use this Benedictine diligence thing? How do I summon the power of Benedictine diligence straight up into my butt? How do I do it? How do I make my butt more diligent? I... Don't think I can. 
You make me sad. Fine. You guys done with- Whoa! Something just changed. Oh. Yeah, I think the uh, Rum have won their war against the Fatimid. Or Arabia. Holy crap, holy. Ha 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 ha. Well, I do feel bad for you, man. I do feel bad for you. And you are leading troops in Uwal. Can you please bring your troops over to here so that I can uh, kick your teeth in? And then win this war sooner rather than later? Okay, you guys can move on over into Farama. And we'll just siege this down the good old-fashioned way. No need to rush that. Hungarian Shia Revolt. Well, isn't it lucky that we have a huge stack of troops ready to kick ass and take names? Let's have you guys deal with the um, Shia Revolt there, please. Thank you. In the meantime, how is Zeister developing? Uh, I guess. He's developing, certainly. Maybe not in the best way possible? Also, when can I introduce him to the uh, realm? I don't know who you are, get out of my face. Okay. Where are his troops now? Tajura. Oh no, he's taking the long way back up. Damn it. Well, maybe you can catch him in Cairo. I don't know who you are. Get out of my face. And that is the Shia Revolt. Done and over with. Hey, a quick dude, eh? Interesting. Hmm. I don't think I can get this guy con to convert to uh, Christianity, though. All right. in the meantime, why don't you guys move over to Darum, where the supply limit is plentiful. In the meantime, go ahead and just seize that down. We're not going anywhere, not until this guy, uh, shows his troops somewhere. Come on, Fatimid. What's this? Oh, right, right, this was our competing bishop. Um, do we want to kill this guy? Uh... No, I... I guess we'll let Sexbald, um, be the new... Bishop, sure, why not? Can I just cancel this plot? Thank you. Helen, be patient. Became cynical and said, oh, whoa. Okay. Interesting. I didn't actually expect his troops to come this way. I thought, if anything, they'd be coming from the uh, south. But all right, all right, cool. I won't kick a gift horse in the teeth. It's going to arrive in Man in January 7th. I wonder if he's going to go into Negev. I guess we'll see, right? Okay, so... Oh, he is going into Negev. Alright, so once he arrives in Negev, let's go ahead and kick his teeth in so that we can end the war. And we'll take that. In the meantime, why don't you guys move over back to our territory so that we can win, um... Just have our troops under territory as soon as we win the war here. Negev is under siege. Go ahead and take that, please, and thank you. Perfect, 100%. I don't think there's any need for us to drag this war on any longer, so let's go ahead and peace him out. Thank you. And we are going to need to revoke your titles. Merry Christmas. Um, introduce heir to the realm. Sure, why not? Zeister? There you go, buddy. You've invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Prince Vlad Zeister. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. Well, I sure as hope you don't... Hell, hope you don't disappoint me. Because so far, you've been... A little disappointing, Zeister. Not gonna lie. But hopefully he'll develop into a... Strapping young lad that can stab people in the face behind their back. Speaking of intrigue... I think we should... Damn it. Well... Okay, I think we're going to go with the whole um, swearing fealty and then subverting the Holy Roman Empire from within thing. Yeah, he's got about 13,000 troops right now. Suppose, if anything, Kantian Negev, fantastic. Alright, oh, no. And there is now a Fatimid Revolt. And uh, what's this? You want to teach my Zeister how to be a better learned kid? Sure, why not? Wait, who's the guy that uh, did that? Shoot. 
Who is that guy? I want to pay him back for his favor. Crap. Was it this guy? Was it you? No. Was it this guy? No. It was some bishop dude, that's for sure. Damn it. I'll find you. Where are you, man? Nope. Curses. Is it this guy? Shit. Was him, wasn't it? No. Wasn't him. Ah, oh, man. I don't want to owe anyone a favor. Crap. Oh, there we go. Bishop Mercia of Beit Nuba. Where the hell is Beit Nuba? I guess we might as well just find a name, right? Bishop Mercia? This guy. There we go. Alright, let's uh, return the favor. And can we do anything with... No. Doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, then. Mm, then can we start a new faction? Galvakine Succession. Interesting. And there's an independence revolt that's about to burst. Signori Succession? Why is my portrait there? Huh. Judging by the pattern here, I'm assuming my portrait is there because... Um, if this were to succeed, then I would be next in line to inherit? Hmm... 287.6%. Holy crap. Um, I guess YOLO? <laughs> Let's see if it works. All right. Okay, well, he didn't like that, so I guess it's wartime then. Fair enough. Um, can I please get some more boats? Uh, let's have you guys meet up in down there. Sure. You know what? Actually... Oh. Great. Yeah, 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 you know what? That's fine. Let's go ahead and win this war against the... Or win the fight against the... Um... What? You refused my gift? How dare you? Okay, great. That's fine. And immediately, he spilled some drink on that uh, guy who's teaching him how to be a better learned dude. Good for you, kid. Good for you. An elusive shadow. Wow, wow, wee wah. Hell yeah, Batman. And now he's a rival with a 10-year-old kid. Grow up, kid. Grow up. Alright, let's go ahead and I think we can safely dismiss our troops. Sure, we're gonna lower and re-raise here, including our vassal, or our holy order, rather. Can I please lower the holy order boats? Let's get our retinue back home, and then in the meantime, I'm going to re-raise here. And we'll also get the holy order involved as well, obviously. And then boats. Now boats. Please meet up in Jaffa, and troops meet up in Jaffa as well. Okay, that's good. Ah. The Bedouin dude? Oh. Okay, sure. Let's owe him a favor. And then, uh, can I get him to... How do I revoke his title? Ah, shoot. I can't have a temporary title. Let's... Dumb. Damn it. Are holding a Mortain. Where? Oh, really? Oh, I see. Because it's owned by the Knights Templar. Alright, alright. Interesting. Okay, so we have 20,000 troops. We have 23,000 to their 8.67,000. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. What the hell were you thinking? Good job, buddy. Good job. And he has become a worthy heir. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's have you guys get into our domain territory. Thank you. And I think we should probably move our troops out. Yeah, no sense in uh, keeping them here. Because we're going to need to start taking some territory. What's this? 
Holy Roman Revolt. Independence War. Uh-oh. That's not good. Because, uh... It seems like this guy is grossly overpowered. Or, um... Underpowered in comparison to his revolts? Many years of my life have been uh, spent dedicated to the Benedictine Order, performing missions and tasks in the interest of the Order and its co Conversus. Today all that effort has been rewarded as I have been, as I become the new Conversus. My fellows now look to me for leadership and guidance. Great. Fantastic. Are you actually leading... Depositing troops into my territory? Via boat? Weird. Alright, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you there. Okay, so let's assault this holding, because we have more than enough troops. Mobs of opportunists and loyal veterans have flocked to the banner of Kaiser Gregor of the Holy Roman Empire in Nassau to fight against us. I mean, he's down to about 4,000 troops. Even fewer than that. Everyone at court loves your dog, especially the children find much joy in playing with him. That's great. Okay, let's go ahead and assault this holding. Thank you. We're at 42%. Wait, so if we win this, what happens? Not much, besides the fact that I gained prestige and also succession by seniority is then implemented. Alright, I, I guess. Cool. I guess that is kind of the um, objective of our whole thing in the first place. And we're at 54% already. Wow, this really isn't going very well for you there, bud. Yep, I just... Great. It's happening again. I love it. <laughs> okay, we need to get a new court physician, apparently. And China will not send any. Nope. Alright, fine. I guess we're just gonna have to find some regular-ass dude, then. Uh-oh, the supply limit here is not that great. Oh, we're just barely over the supply limit. Come on. We can fix that. Your rangers report of an erudite herbalist that resides in a hut in the outskirts of a nearby town. The herbalist, named Natalia, seems eager to accept the offering of becoming your uh, personal physician and has prepared an immense bundle of dank herbs to be delivered to the court should she be accepted. Can we find someone who's better than her? I mean, she's just got the her gardener thing, which isn't super, super useful. Um, oh, you know what? This guy. Wait. But I'm gonna be revoking a title away from him. Maybe I don't want him to be my doctor. Actually, what if I convince him? Damn it, what the hell? No, Natalia. Dude, come on, man. You my court physician. What? How do I... Damn it. Uh, I mean, I can't... Shoot. Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll ask him after the war. It's dumb. 71%. Okay, fine. You guys can move up to Znoimo or whatever. Nice. Another tussle one. 74%. I don't think we're going to be hindered by the whole 99% thing. Considering that we have had a Royal Rumble with him. Alright. Fine. 78%. 85%. Come on. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. No. Thanks. Not after the last time you denied me your 58 troops. That was going to be super useful. Oh shit. I think the um, independence war is going to win. That's not good. Alright, you guys might want to uh, consolidate your troops there. Alright, let's see if we can catch up to these guys. Because I don't want them to take back territory. I don't know who you are. Get out of my face. Stop moving, man. Let me kick your teeth in. 90%. 98%. Just one more tussle and we should be good. Okay, in the meantime, we can advance in culture. Let's go with Majesty level 5. 100%. You're done, buddy. You're done. There you go. And you know what? I'm going to immediately help you out with the independence war here. 
Wait, why is your heir him? I thought it was a seniority succession. So, wait. Was that just a lie? Am I not the eldest in the dynasty here? What the hell? I'm 46 years old. This guy is older, but he's also a bastard. Um, I don't see anyone else who's old enough. What? Okay. I can actually... Maybe get him assassinated very easily. Wow. Turns out his uh, spy master is in on the uh, whole thing too. Alright, well I don't want to um, do that just yet. Let me help out with the uh, revolt thing first. You? I don't know who you are. Can I just ransom you? Oh, he's batshit crazy. That's probably why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Sure, why not? Ah, thank you. Helen, you are my bastard niece. Let's have you just do your own shit. I don't really give a rat's ass. Wait, did I not? Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now will that count towards your war score? I'm actually not sure here. All right, fine. Let me take your territory and see if that helps. There we go. That seems to have uh, reversed his fortune somewhat. There. Come on, man. Just win this. If I do take over, I don't want to um, take over some broken-ass territory here. Um, sure. Let me visit your Rose Garden. Lollard Heresy, that's hilarious. Alright, fine, you know what? I'm not sure what this will result in, but let's give it a try. And see if we can get the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire assassinated. And his own son, I think, is willing to join in on the plot. Son or my nephew? Oh, they're both my nephew, so I guess that's his brother. Alright, cool. Sure, sure. Why not? Alright, we're gonna blow him the fuck up. Fantastic. And we'll see how it all turns out. Hopefully we don't get caught. Settle my horse. Okay, then. I have a new heir? I lost my finger of St. John. But I received a new engraved sword. And a new noble scepter. Crown of lilies. I've inherited the Holy Roman Empire. What? Died under suspicious circumstances. Wait. But I wasn't even in the line of succession. What the hell? I mean, that's awesome. I'm not trying to kick a gift horse in the teeth here, but what the hell? And also, what is this? Holy War for Telemkin? Oh, you want to take that back? Can I just surrender to you? I don't really want Telemkin. Um, what'll happen if I surrender? Lose moral authority, lose piety, and lose prestige. And he vassalizes all the lords of the Duchy of Telemkin. Which I'm actually okay with. But that being said... Hmm... Oh no. Ah, shit. My capital is in Nassau. Can I move it back to Feher? Ah, okay, during peace. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Fine, let me go kick this guy's teeth in first. Alright, that's great. Uh-oh, we might actually need to support this fight here. I don't know who you are. And we need to get ourselves a new spy master. Oh shit, we have an advisor now. We have two advisor roles. Crap. Okay, um... Steward. The King of Bohemia, why don't you go ahead and collect taxes in Feher? My Marshal is an absolute tit. Let's have... This guy, who was the former Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, be our new Marshal instead. <laughs> uh, that's weird. That's very weird. Alright, and we're not going to use up our technology points until we move our capital back to Feher. 
and we can press the jure claims. I see. I appear to have been handed a giant mess. All right then. Well, uh, <laughs> that's not good. And let me guess. All this, I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of border gore. Oh no. Oh no. I've inherited a flaming mess. Crap all over it. Can I get you to convert yet? Fine, how about I just revoke your title of um, that mosque? I guess we we're gonna have to just find a new uh, court physician instead of this guy. Because I'm pretty sure he's not going to... Yeah, he didn't like my predecessor. And my... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Mmm... Not good. Hmm. And of course we have a new Pope as well. Stephanus? I can offer him vassalization? What? I didn't realize it could actually vassalize the Pope. That's awesome. Then what if... I guess would I need to take the duchy first? And then make him like my de jure vassal? Huh. Because that's part of the Kingdom of Italy, right? So if I create the Kingdom of Italy, does that mean I would be his de jure liege? Interesting. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm, I'll have to figure that out. Let me... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be... Ah, shit. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a while before I actually, um... What's it? Before I win the war against the Rebellion here. And then we also have that Holy War to uh, worry about. Alright, um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm at a bit of a loss for words right now. I didn't expect this. I thought he would just die and then pass be, the uh, title be passed on to this guy, a Verona. But no, it came straight to me. Holy crap. That's... pretty awesome. But also a little concerning. Because now we have this giant mess that we need to fix. Okay, so I'm kind of expecting our next few episodes to be just um, dealing with uh, vassals and shit. Like, you know, um, quashing rebellions as we try to revoke titles away and whatnot to uh, fix this giant mess. Because, um, yeah. Right now, Hungary, or rather the Empire of Carpathia region is quite clean. But everything else is a giant festering mess that we need to uh, fix. Or at least, we don't need to fix, but I definitely want to fix. Alright, well... <laughs> we'll do that in the next episode, and so forth. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast!